All right. Well, uh, time to talk about the microtransactions. Sure. And the the controversy surrounding Battlefront and all the negative, yeah. negative what vibes on Reddit and Twitter and and everywhere. Hashtag gambling and boy, did that just kind of like I guess it was because that version that came out on Tuesday came out. Is that where kind of where it all started? Well, it's been like, out on EA Access since Friday, I think. I, yeah, and I guess that started it as well. I mean, it just kind of like, was it two days ago? You went online and it was just a wall of complaints on social media, just everywhere. People the do most- not like pay-to-win mechanics in multiplayer games. That's like the one no- big no-no of microtransactions. Like yes. You can almost do anything but pay-to-win. Pay-to-win in multiplayer you can even do pay to win in single player people get mad but it's like you can't really argue that you've broken the game by doing that i mean whatever it's different enough Mm -hmm. but in multiplayer it's like it goes against everything that gamers look for in a game they don't they don't want that and they let ea know on reddit with the most downvoted (laughs) comment ever from not just the most downvoted, but like the most downvoted by like a a thousand times the right. one the one before it. Downvoted into oblivion. Yeah, I mean it was pretty ridiculous. And it was a but I admittedly a very powerful statement. I mean, they made one of the quickest changes I've seen in the game, especially around something that it technically is priced. You know, right. The, so they 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 announced that they're going to cut the unlock costs for the hero, for some of the heroes or all the heroes by 75%. Um, if a lot of some of the heroes that you can play with in, in multiplayer are locked at the start and you have to earn the in-game currency so that you can unlock them. And you do that through loot box. You do that from, through winning game or playing games in multiplayer and in loot boxes. But, they figured people figured out they did the math because the game has been out for a couple of days, like pre release. See, this is how it sort of b- blows back in your face, too. Like, by having all this, this whole weird release schedule because you want to yeah. you want to sell a version of the game that's more expensive, but have it come out <laughs> three days early, right? And but then you've got a subscription service and they get the game five days early, so now it has to be five days earlier than. The early release. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh no. It was. It's this whole. It's such a debacle. This whole thing, and they shot themselves in the foot because they have again. It's all of these. You know. It the the game. The center of this game, from everything that I can tell, is to get you to spend money on things in this game, and they made it at launch incredibly difficult to unlock pretty much anything. Through, through gameplay right. technically you could it's very similar to you know i've talked about this before the skins in um uh what should we call it in in justice 2 there are some premium skins that can only be unlocked with source crystals and technically you can play the game to get enough source crystals to buy them but it's pretty much impossible you have to spend money and this those and the thing though is if you buy source crystals to get the skin you could buy the exact skin you want you're not getting a loot box and getting something at random but the difference is those are just skins and this yeah, and, this is and actual again stuff and that like affects yeah game. exactly and those and those are just skins you can very happily spend 200 hours playing that game and not miss a shiny a shiny gold skin for your superman people will complain about skins being in loot boxes but having pay to win mechanics in loot boxes that's they go beyond complaining they they explode and that's what that's what happened here yeah ship ship why do you think that ea chose to put they they had to know it was going to be controversial right and to put it in like the premier star wars game seems like it's, it was pretty risky i they knew what they were doing i don't think that they they figured out the economy before they launched it. But is that so... Imb- I mean, how could you do this like so willy-nilly? You figure like you would have had to thoroughly research. I mean, look, at the end of the day, the game could be successful. 
even if it sells less copies, if the people who buy the game are going nuts buying loot boxes and they could be raking in the money. That may be what they were anticipating. Maybe that's what they're hoping for. But I don't think Disney would be happy about that. I think Disney as a company is looking at the as at the reach and the amount of people that bought the game as being probably more important to them than a handful of people that spend a lot of money on the game. And not having not being labeled as gambling. Yeah. Yeah, and not be had. I, I I told you both earlier today that uh, JPEG that's been going around with you know how it's gambling and why it's gambling and warn your children, well, parents don't buy this game. Right. That made it to my local parents page on Facebook. What was the reaction? There wasn't any, which was sort of a bummer, <coughs> oh. but it was there. So somebody should again, have put Trump's head on there. I you know video game stuff never makes it there. But right. the fact that parents are warning other parents right. not to buy their children this game for Christmas because it has gambling is a pretty big deal because that has nothing yeah. to do with us and our people. It but it means that it's actually gone that far. That yeah. that's the conversation. That's the you know the fake news story. That you know this game is gambling. Don't buy it for your children for Christmas, and that's a big deal. And people at EA must be livid and people at disney must be super livid did you see in belgium that uh battlefront and overwatch's loot boxes are being investigated by the government it doesn't surprise me it's only you know it's it's a matter of time i i do i think it's it's I, I i know there's a lot of arguments like you know you can compare it to say like baseball cards or something like that but mm-hmm. Yeah, and and it wouldn't, and it's not a an unfair um, comparison. But there's this whole, well, you, you know, get I, something right. I mean, you yeah. get something for when you put money in. So it's not, yeah. it's not gambling. It's not gambling because you're not getting money back, right? Or not, not getting money back. Or is it because these loot boxes have an in-game currency in them? Is that sort of the gray area? Uh, no, I think, well, according, according to this, uh, Belgium situation, the, uh, the guy from, I don't know, somebody from Belgium <laughs> says that, that it, 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 it makes, vo- uh, miners are especially vulnerable. And sure. as, as soon as you bring, you know, to being taken advantage of by loot boxes, it says, uh, because of the societal pressure to spend more money, uh, to boost their strength, uh, that they sort of feel that miners will be taken advantage of more than other groups. And I guess that's, you know, that's a, a red flag. So I don't know. It should be interesting to see if it makes that much of an impact in the United States. Did you read any of the uh, Ask Me Anything that the Dice Guys did on Reddit? Oh, very little. Okay. Well, one of the other things, this is actually super shitty, is so there's an arcade mode in the game, the offline mm-hmm. mode, yep. and there's a cap on how many credits you can earn in a day on it. Yeah, that, I read that part. That was pretty shitty. And it, wait, it's, uh, we want to let players earn credits offline mode via more relaxed game mode. We needed to also find a way to make sure it wouldn't be exploited in a way that wouldn't impact the multiplayer. Because of that, we made the decision to limit the number of credits earned to stop potential abuse. So they're saying that they limited the amount of credits you could earn in offline because they don't want people exploiting it for multiplayer. But you can buy as many as you want. <laughs> that, that exploitation and ex- is and, and exploit multiplayer up the wazoo. That's not exploitation. That's donation. Yeah, exactly. So it's the it's a terrible answer. And they got ridiculed for that answer on social media, rightfully so, by a whole bunch of people uh, in the industry. It's just sad. This whole thing is sad. Should they have gone on Reddit today and done that? That seems like a weird thing, a weird idea. Well, they're trying to show that they're listening and that they're going to make changes. And that, like, don't they, worry. They haven't really said that. Well, they don't, yeah. don't worry, guys. It's fine. We're listening. We're going to make changes. Oh. There's going to be more updates. We promise. Buy the game. Hmm. I have a family. I right. have a fa- <laughs> I need this job. 
I mean, some help of you me, can't. Help you can't, me help you. Most of the people who worked on this game have nothing to do with this economy situation. No, it's, uh, you know. Well, you but, don't know that. But there are I'm pretty sure who... the guy that was designing art for this game. Well, yeah. Uh, was was sure. just uh, or coding. Well, the, yes. <laughs> like, the vast majority the of people that worked on this game right. had, had nothing to do with it. Are not involved but, in those decisions. But there are still people at DICE that were involved in those decisions. Of course. They yeah. had to craft so, the game around it. So and well, maybe they maybe it was their idea. Mm-hmm. Certainly possible. Yes, People as think they like, said, oh, EA is evil. That they tell them, you know, they insert those microtransaction systems and they inject them in right into the pure blood of the uh, developer. But it's probably not how it works. As as the one of the dice people said on Reddit today, we were incredibly saddened by the negative response from you, of the course. community on Reddit about the game. In fact, we hated it. We truly did because we wanted to make a game that you love. We've made a really cool, fun, and beautiful game, but it was overshadowed by issues with the progression system. Mm-hmm. We will fix this. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned for more specifics and details once they get set. <sighs> So the question is, is maybe, maybe, uh, cancel your pre-order and wait. But my $10 gift card. I know, but I have that $10 off coupon. That's only good for this game. I can wait. I have my, not my eight hours left or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, oh yeah. So somebody wrote in, Libby wrote in and she said, do you feel that, do you feel like the loot box fiasco is going to land EA in front of Congress? For selling gambling to children a la Night Trap in the 90s. If if that image that made it to my, my locals' parents' group. It's Fox News, next stop. Yeah, if it makes it to more parents' groups and those parents' groups get the attention of the media and you turn on your morning news and Matt Lauer says, gambling in a children's game? Then yes. If it never makes it that far, then no. If it doesn't get past people complaining on Twitter that follow the same people that you follow on Twitter, right. Right. then it's, it's not going to, it's then it's just a, uh, a tempest in a teapot, I believe is the, uh, the saying. So it Fart really in depends. An oxygen tank. Yeah. So, Woo, whoop. Zelda chiming in. She has some, some, some things. She has thoughts on loot boxes as well. <laughs> she is hates food. In, is there food in these boxes? <laughs> oh, stop being loud. Uh, Shipwreck, anything else to add for this loot box contract? Is Star Wars still going to sell, be fine, or is it fucked? No, it'll still sell. I, I, I... Well, the last one sold well, but it was right. still a disappointment. Right, for... so this one will be the same. But they'll have all that sweet loot box revenue. Right. Will I, they, I mean, though? That's the thing. That's, like, that's I think... a... They will, they will. I think people, that they're going to fine. Them. Yeah. I, I, the, the sales might go down for... A while, and there might be some pre-orders canceled. But I those whales will be spending two hundred dollars on loot boxes. I, I it think up what for the hurts rest it of us. more than anything is that they're they're the content of the game, like in, in like yes, in yes, combination with this, like the yes. the Roger Rogers and the yes. and the stormtrooper that we don't know anything about, right. I completely agree. That's maybe even, they, uh, that's a bigger problem than the loot boxes, in my opinion. For me, it did, is. Yeah. Oh no, it, it, that is a big problem. Do you think they would have been? Do you think the game would have been better if they, if in addition to these new maps, they just also threw in all the old maps just to kind of keep it oversaturated with content? I would like there to be a switch on the game that says limit content to the three good movies. <laughs> And then the other but, the mean, other content but, doesn't show up in the game. So, I, so exactly what I'm saying. Like all the new, like you have all the new weapons and all the new heroes, sure. and all Fuck. the new maps, but I you don't... still had access to within the same game. Go to Tatooine, Hoth, and Endor. I mean, I literally never want to go to Naboo, and I do not want to be the Roger Roger guy. So make it so I don't have to do that, and I'll be happier. And add in, yes, and add in the old shit, too. Yeah, I like those old things. I like the Death Star stuff. I mean, I'm not going to get tired of Death Star maps. I'm pretty or sure. Or do you think they should have just had, another, like, new versions of those maps? Fine. They did. Well, the Hoth, they did. did Hoth they, is, is on it, there. Okay. I don't know. And it's great. It's like, fuck. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Adats. 
those tower things. We love that. But they I don't want more Endor. Uh, give me yeah, more Endor. They had more. Okay, they have. They got Endor on there, but then they got like a bunch of other shit that you never that you forgot instantly as soon as you saw it from all the new movies. Mm. I don't know. They have Jabba's Cantina on there. I don't think so. I haven't seen it. Yeah, Jabba's Bar. Just give me more of the old stuff. Give me Mon- 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 Eisley. Let me play as Java. Fuck you. Yeah. How many hours do I have to play to unlock Java? That's what I want to know. <laughs> um, I, Sarlacc I'm very, I think it's very interesting, the whole situation. And I'm, I'm glad that people were vocal about their displeasure. It's only, I think it's only good for the industry in the long run. You can't, you can't keep squeezing blood out of a rock. I think you got to. I think there's, there is, there's a, there is a happy medium. I, I, you know, I, I and I, you cosmetics know, and I, just add, yeah. make us make a lot. Keep making cosmetics for the game, like skins and emotes. Just make a ton of them and put them in loot boxes. I, I can't, yeah, it's I, fine. I, I, think, I think there's a way to make it. There is a way to make it work. And again, and I'll bring up because it's the game I play the most. It, that has loot boxes. Don't say injustice. I was going to say don't injustice. you dare talk about injustice again because that you can't buy loot boxes in injustice. Oh really? But, yeah. Loot boxes are not for sale with real money and injustice. You can only get them through gameplay. It's the only way to get loot boxes. And sometimes there are some some weeks, depending upon the event, they're really easy to get. And some weeks, depending upon the event, they're difficult to get. It really just depends. So what on... are you paying for? Shaders and that's it. Shaders. That's it. It's the only thing you could spend real money on. And the characters. And yeah, and the character, the <laughs> DLC characters. See, I don't think they should it's be the only selling two the characters. Things you can spell, spend real money on. <laughs> Shaders and the downloadable content characters. So, but none of it's in a box. None of it is hidden. None of it is random. The only random stuff is the gear, and that's in the loot boxes that you can't buy with real money. See, I'd rather them give you all the characters. We're talking about Injustice. I'd yeah. give you all the characters and keep coming. You know, every every few months you come out with a few more characters. Include that all in the sixty dollars in the regular price. And put all the skins and emotes and shit in loot boxes. And you'll well, get there are no make... emotes, but well, I know. Well, whatever they have, you know, they could add some shit like voice lines, just like but they kind of. I mean, all, but they they technically already did that. They just didn't give you all the characters. I mean, the only thing you could pay for is shaders, right? So you think the shaders should have been random and cost more money? That no, no. money. Just put them in loot boxes. Well, Don't then... pay. Then you just, you're not I'm making, saying, give me all the character, give me all the content for the game, like all the the meaty content of the game, in with my sixty dollars. So that's in mm-hmm. characters, maps, things of that nature. If you want to add uh, skins and emotes and sprays and voice lines, stuff like that, if you put them in loot boxes and let me earn a loot box every once in a while, and I'll never pay for one, but there's plenty of people who will, and you'll make money that way. You'll probably do better than than charging separately the uh, for the each character and, and map. See, and I'd rather. Like I I think I'm on the. I, I'm. I don't know if I agree. Madness. I, I know. There's part of me that's like, you know, there's the you know the hundred dollar version of this game which has all the characters and some. It does have some bonus skins if you buy that whole pack, and but you get what is it. Uh, t- 12 is it 12 9 or 12 i don't even know what it is well there's all four turtles so i feel like it's now 12 yeah but with my system you paid 60 dollars and you got all that yeah but <laughs> my like my system with your system you, you pay for all that but then it's you know what are they throwing behind the paywall that isn't already behind a so you're I told saying you, none cosmetics of it, and loot boxes. So you do not get any of the gear, or is it harder now to get the gear? Because the put gear, the gear is in like, the loot box. Put the gear in the loot boxes. But how often do I? How hard is it now to get a loot box? Because now getting a loot box is fairly easy, and I yeah, you make get it, good gear. I don't know, like every half hour you get a loot box. Yeah. See, now when I play this game, I get a loot box like every three minutes. Oh, all right. So whatever, we can work on that. I was going to say, because it's, it's, again, Just it's put it out there. It. We'll see what people say. We'll, <laughs> Wait we'll till they burn our offices uh, down. I mean, again, it's, it's, it's the hard part with the loot box is finding that balance. At least with a game where I'm just paying for these characters, I know what I'm paying for. I'm paying for these characters. 
No, you're and not. for some people, that's fine. For me, that's fine. I if <laughs> if you told me you spent a hundred dollars on Injustice Two and you love the game, then there's nothing wrong with the hundred dollars you spent on Injustice Two and you love the game. But if you spent sixty, but it segments the audience and like so you're playing multiplayer and there's some people who have the characters and some people that don't. But it doesn't stop you from playing against that person in a fighting game. It doesn't segment the audience. Oh, all right. That's a good point. Yeah, like there's no segmented audience. But I have there's, to download all those files, even though I can't use them. Their files are tiny. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, no, you're not making any that sense. Was a joke. Like, right. yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, let's move on. It's we fine. solved that. Pro- I've already solved the problem. Yep. Let's do it like it. Overwatch. I yeah. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> have no content in your game until loot boxes. Yeah, that's a perfect way to do it. It should be like tight. It should be like Titanfall two. Where they sell shaders and skins, and nothing is in a box. And if you want to buy something, you just buy the reason it's not like Titanfall Two is because that didn't it didn't work. That didn't yeah, that did not work the way that that's not the loop. Yeah, that that's not right. There's no loop box. box. There's no box. It's just well, that's the you. We need loop boxes because we need to take advantage of people. That's pay for what you want. (laughs) Yeah, but that's not good. People want to be fucked with mentally, and that's why loop boxes are successful. You should be able to earn loot boxes in the game to give you random stuff. But if you want to circumvent the the surprise, then you buy what you want. Right. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So you have both. That's the best of both worlds. Overwatch doesn't even let you do that. Overwatch, you... And if Overwatch did let you buy just what you wanted at this point, like say you unlocked everything with loot boxes, if like three things, right. and you could get those three things for five bucks, would right. you plunk down the five dollars for those they... three things? They would have a much better chance of getting my money if they did it that way. I know. How much money would it take me to end this conversation? <laughs> I will say uh, about thirty-seven dollars. Done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 